All right, so this is part two of our ice cream series and we will make the scoop, okay, the ice cream scoop. So this is relatively simple because if you look at it, it's just, uh, it has like these vertical cuts in it. Like if I look at this one, see, so there are basically like, you can think of it as straight lines, which are kind of distorted. Okay, so that's what we need to make. Okay, so I'm gonna take a sphere. Yeah, I think this size is fine. Let's make it polygon and I'll keep it to around 30 segments. And then let's just move it slightly up. And I'm going to, I'm going to cut the base of it. Like let's say I want to cut that much. So just take a clip. Uh, there are other ways to do it. Like we can try to, uh, I can try to take a wrangle and I can flatten everything that is below Y axis like, uh, like I can take a, let's take a group. So we'll do group expression and we'll just call it flat. And I can say at p dot y is less than zero. So it will select everything over there. And then I can just take a wrangle node and we can say the group is flat and we can say at p dot y is equal to zero. So it'll just flatten everything that is below zero. Okay, so if I just take this and I keep moving it down, it'll keep making it flat, see. Okay, and then I can just take a smooth, so we can just, you know, like it's gonna cause like rough lines over there, so I can just sort of smoothen it out, see, there you go, so this is fine. Okay, so now let's convert this into a VDB. So we'll just do VDB from polygons. I'll keep it, uh, we'll do fill interior and we'll make it 0.006 to start with and then we can adjust it later. Let's, let's keep it at 0.008 so it'll go a little faster and then we can reduce it. And change the distance VDB and call it, instead of surface, call it density. Okay, because the, like you can also work with surface, it's fine. But uh, when you take like a volume warp, the inside node is usually kept to density. So it's just easier to just rename your VDB to, to density. Okay, so just take a volume warp and we'll call it, uh, let's call it ice cream noise and just jump in. There's like density over here. Otherwise, if it's kept at surface, then you can take like a bind node. So you can do a bind uh, and a bind export and call it surface and then work with that but I don't care, so this is fine. So just take a turbulent noise and we'll do position and then apply a multiply constant in the middle. So this will control our intensity and then we add it with our, with our density. Okay, and you'll get this. So just take this and lower it a fair bit. Okay, and what we want to do is uh, let me just, I think the material is too bright. Yeah. Okay, so we'll keep this to original Perlin. Okay, and like, let's get this down lower still. Uh, if, if this is happening, you'll just have to like increase the exterior band voxels to something like, there you go, like six or seven should do it. The more it requires it, the like, if it still doesn't fill up, just keep increasing that, like it'll work. There are more complicated ways to take care of this, but I don't want to spend that much time like working on that. So uh, the frequency, I'll keep it to about 15 and five and five. So you'll get this. And we can just lower the amplitude here. See, so it's kind of eats up through that. Yeah, I think it's still causing some issues. Maybe, yeah, no, I think that's just a display issue. Anyways, uh, so let's just take this and uh, what we can do is I can do a fit range in the middle. See, so that will just give you like these grooves and we can kind of adjust it and maybe get this to minus 0 0.1. Yeah, so you get like a little more. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. This is the viewport has gotten stuck. So just come into labs and do reset viewport. There you go, yeah. Okay, that's what the problem was. Okay, so there you go. So this is our basic, you know, uh, rough shape that we want. Let's make it minus 0 0.1, 0 0.05. Yeah, okay, this should be fine. 
and we can kind of like take this and no I think I'm okay with this yeah okay so this is fine now what we do is uh, you can also put in a transform in the middle so just take a transform sorry not transform take a transform matrix and this will allow you to rotate the noise so if I make this say 40 degrees see so you can actually like you know spin it around like that see so I think 40 is fine see so this is good like we're getting somewhere close to you know like what we have here like over there okay and then I can just take another uh, turbulent noise and we're going to add it to this so just take this and this one I'll keep it to around let's to 6 and 3 and 3 so it's still like stretch lines and this will be a 3d noise and we're going to add it to this guy so we'll just do an add here after the x form and just plug that in see so you'll get this and just increase the roughness and lower the amplitude to around let's do like 0.08 yeah, there you go. See, so that's not bad. So if I take this and I increase, like I lower the voxel size to about 0 0.004. There you go. See, so you get like nice, you know, like cut lines on the whole thing. And then if along with this, let's, you know, take it back up. I want to sort of, you know, eat up the whole thing. I can actually take another turbulent noise. Like let's just duplicate this. Let's keep this to sparse convolutions and do the same thing, multiply constant. Let's just disconnect this for a second and you know, so lower this and we can do a fit range in the middle. Yeah, see, so you can like, you know, like have it be eaten up a little bit like that. So you can kind of, you know, do stuff like this. So if you want to have like the whole thing kind of, you know, not be like a uniform sphere and just be a little bit like that. So we can add these two together. So this comes first and that comes in second. See, so you'll get this like, you know, it's like a little bit not entirely smooth. And that's it. Like this is how you make the ice cream scoop. And I can just come in here and then we can just increase this to 0 0.003. Yeah, there you go. See, so you get like, you know, really nice details on the whole thing. Now what you can do, which I didn't do in my original file is uh, you can also bake this whole thing. Okay. Like if you don't like when we convert this to geometry, like if I do convert VDB, this is going to be a ridiculously heavy model. Okay, like if I set this to polygons, see, I'll get this and this is how much? This is about 500,000 polygons. Let me just save this file. Uh, let's go lower still, you know, just for fun. I'll make it 0 0.002. Yeah, I think this is good. You get like fair bit of detailing on the whole thing. Uh, now, the thing is this would now be close to, yeah, yeah we've crossed, crossed a million polygons. But the point is we don't really want it this heavy. Uh, like if you don't want so what you can do is you can take the base model and you, you can bake these details onto the base model okay and then at render time you can do like a render time displacement or something like that so that will make you know uh, the scene or the viewport a lot lighter now I didn't do that because I don't you know like it was just one ice cream scoop and you can just instance it so like two million polygons is fine but yeah you can do that like if you if you want to use this as a better production ready model or something like that then you can you know do those things uh, let's do one thing let's just come in here I want to increase this a bit like get the cuts a little bit deeper yeah I think that should be okay they are deep enough okay so that's pretty much it so let's do one thing let's also take care of like I had like sprinkles on top so let's also take care of that so I can just take this and once we've done with this I can take a I can take a group uh, let's do one thing. Let's make it 0 0.0025. Like slightly less heavier. Yeah, okay. I think this is fine. So just take a group node and we'll call it top. And I'm going to go by normals and one. Yeah. 
and you can just decide like you know what you want to select and then uh, just take a blast and we can get rid of that so delete top and do delete non selected so you just have like this maybe a little lesser let's do one thing. let's also do like a bounding box because I'm getting like something almost close to the base I don't want that yeah I think this is okay okay and then I'll just take a line and set it in the X direction do now someone told me that uh, you have something called as match size so uh, apparently match size now like the axis align that I am using labs axis align has been hidden in the newer versions because the match size and the axis align are the same thing okay like if you see this is called match size so yeah so you can just use match size instead of using axis align okay so I can just take this and this is fine let's just make it really small and then I'm going to take a sweep node and let's just make this sorry let's make this a round tube just increase that and give it a give it a grid and make it so this will be our tiny little sprinkle we'll make it thinner and then take a transform and you can probably scale it down a fair bit okay let's keep it there and then we can lower the size now take a scatter so you can take uh, you can take a scatter align yeah I think that should be good so we'll just take a scatter align and just uh, I think we'll have to go 0 0.005 okay that's too much 0 0.01 okay that's fine and let's just copy this so we'll do copy two points and let's just turn on pack instance yeah they're there but they're too small so like if I do this see there you go they are there so instead of this let's just make this big like really big yeah I think this is good and now what we can do is just come in here into the scatter line and just do like max angle so you'll get this see and if we want we can kind of modify like the minimum radius so it'll just give you like you know slightly bigger and slightly smaller like that and uh, like if you also want we could probably uh, mix two of them together like make sure you turn on pack instance because it's a lot of points so it'll you know like it's 2000 points it'll just unnecessarily get slow so what we can do is let's say if we take another like a small sphere and what I can do is I can take a, we can take an integer so take an attribute adjust integer it will be called variant and we'll set a value so we'll just say set always to 0 and then this one will be at 1 and with the scatter align I'll do the same thing we'll do attribute adjust integer this will be variant uh, but we will do set always to random and 0 and 1 and here turn on piece attribute and call it variant so what it will do is if we merge these two together it will mix them so you'll get like long ones and spheres so we can do this see so you like if you zoom in so you have like you know these things here and then we can try to give it some color so like what I can do is let's just take a like if you want you can also do like a noise you know so instead of this I can take a noise see so you can have like you know like patches of them which actually doesn't look too bad and then I can just take a we can take an attribute at just float and give it a let's just call it a, let's call it RA we'll call it a, we'll set always use let's do random and yeah I can do a color and we'll do ramp from attribute set this to RA there you go so you have like color and then we can just set this to uh, I don't know let's try inferno no inferno is a bad idea 
Okay, that's not bad. Let's let's do let's go with this. Yeah, there you go. See, so you can do you know sprinkles, and maybe I can just take this one and scale it up a bit. Yeah, so you can have it like you know based on noisy like noise patches, so we can then adjust it. Like, see, you can kind of adjust this and offset it, or you can set it to random. Like, you know, that's also fine. Actually, random would be more natural if that, that's what will happen. And then we can merge this together. So, where are you? There you go. Okay, so we'll take this and we'll take that. And there you go. See, so you have like this. And then let's take a transform and we will merge it with the whole thing. Yeah, maybe we can make it just, just make it slightly bigger because I don't want to adjust. Like if I go to adjust the noise and everything, it'll take too long. Just make it slightly bigger. Okay. Whoa, that's too big. Yeah, I think 1.24 is fine. There you go. That's a really big ice cream scoop. But there you have it. You know, you have your, like we can try to make some adjustments. Uh, maybe lower the still. Yeah. Okay. I think that's better. And there you go. So this is how we model our uh, ice cream scoop and add sprinkles on top. So the next lesson I will uh, finish the modeling because I had put like a cloth on the base. So it just, it looks more fancy rather than just rendering the ice cream. So we'll do that in the next lesson.